We are one of the largest engineering schools in the world. We have 17,000 students. That's just engineering on a campus of about 34,000. The campus at Nanyang Technological University is beautiful. It's many acres, rolling hills. It, it's, it's gorgeous and of course it's in Singapore. There are features of Nanyang Technological University that are a little unusual. One is our commitment to sustainable urban living. The multi-purpose uh, scooter, or VOI, is developed by a team of uh, Nanyang Technological University students and TUM, or Technical University of Munich students. Based on this concept, we built a scooter uh, to have a passenger compartment that is in front and very comfortable uh, environment for him. Secondly, we are also coping with the uh, congestion, so solving the congestion problem and also create less pollution in the streets. After we presented the multi-purpose electric scooter project, we attracted interest from manufacturers from different countries. And we are currently in the stage of discussion for future development. The idea of the project is to tackle everyday life problems. So I learned to see things in different perspectives in a wider horizon. It inspires me to actually look further and see other problems that we can solve in our daily life. Nanyang Technological University is proud of any number of innovations. Our satellite program is fantastic. It's multidisciplinary. It involves students and faculty at all levels. SAT Micro Satellite is an Esperanto satellite project. Uh, this is a joint collaboration between NTU and Defense Science Organization National Laboratory. Uh, it was uh, successfully launched on 20th April 2011. Today we have been operating it for more than two years and the satellite is still performing very well. And in 20 years time we hope to fly multiple nano satellite in a range of 20 kilograms to perform complicated tasks. Satellite technology represents the pinnacle of science and technology. Our ability to build an entire satellite in NTU shows the technology strength of NTU in science and engineering. We're also excellent with exploring tissue engineering. We're very interested in artificial cells, the interaction between artificial cells and electronics, for example. And one thing that we hope is that we'll be at the forefront of improvements in healthcare over the next decade. The Nanyang Technological University in College of Engineering is leading this project, the artificial liver platform, further address the lack of good in vitro model of liver tissue, which are needed to assess whether drug candidates are toxic to the liver. The team based at NTU School of Material Science and Engineering is collaborate with clinician scientists from Stanford University and Singapore General Hospital. And it demonstrates the potential of what can happen when researchers from different backgrounds work together and exchange ideas, unforeseen medical innovation can emerge. I'm with the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, and in this school, we have a research center known as Infinita Center of Excellence. We have a project called STATINA. It's actually an acronym for Speech, Touch, and Acoustic Tangible Interfaces for Next Generation Applications. One of the main objectives of this project is that we would like to convert virtually any rigid surface into a touch interface. This could include, for example, wood, glass, aluminium and acrylic into what humans can interact with machines. We employ uh, what we call the vibration sensors, which cost less than a dollar each. My favourite feature would definitely be the low cost, because that makes this technology very affordable and accessible to a lot of people, and hence it has a lot of potential to change a lot of people's lives. One of the best ways to determine how well an engineering school is preparing its young people is their employment opportunities. And we're thrilled that our young people have job offers before they even graduate. Local industries and international industries are interested in employing our students. And that's, that's the number one measure of how well an engineering school is doing its job of advancing science and engineering in the public good. In my opinion, NTU College of Engineering has definitely an edge over other universities in terms of giving us the freedom to explore and it trains us ultimately to be practical thinkers and come up with robust ideas that may change the quality of life in the future.